Welcome back everybody, this is Jason Seacrest. In the last tutorial, we finished up our cute little whale cartoon by adding on our cartoon brushes. And we also finished by basically expanding and we cleaned up all of our lines and now we have everything united or all of our black is basically united. So what we're gonna be doing in this tutorial is showing you a couple different versions of coloring. We're gonna focus on some two really, really easy versions. We're going to be focusing on the blob brush as well as the live paint buckets. So uh, first thing we're going to need in order to do that is all of our colors. So we're going to take our swatches. Let's just pull those out. I'm going to go file place. And what you guys are going to need is your whale palette. And place. If you are looking for the whale palette. All you need to do is go to jasonsecrets.com. If you should already have your resources. If you are in our resources, just go to color palettes. You just have to scroll down to the bottom and you will be able to find the whale. Download that and you should be good to go. All right, so let's have some fun. So I have some basic colors. What we are going to be doing is using the eyedropper. So just click on eye. There is the eyedropper. And this is our process. I might just give us a little bit of space so we can see it. Is I'm going to click on it. And then I'm just going to drag it on over. Now if things are coloring, that just means you had something selected. I'm going to double click on this one and I might want a little bit of a darker version. And so we're, what we are doing is we are just adding up our values. I might get one more. Good. Drag that over. And I'm going to want one that's pretty close to white, but it's going to be a little bit off-white. And then just so you can tell what we are doing, we're building up our shadows and then we're also building up our highlight colors. Okay, I don't think we're gonna need any other ones. I'm just eyeballing and taking a peek. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, I think that's good. So I'm gonna take my palette, I can now delete. So once we have our swatches, that's it. That's all we're gonna need. I'm just gonna have those hanging out over there. Now what we have is our brushes. These are all together. Now what, so we're gonna go magic one and I'm just gonna click on the black and I want all of those to be my dark blue. All right, that looks good. So this is going to be our line. I'm just saying line work. So this is gonna be the one that's hanging out on the top. I'm gonna lock that guy out. I'm then going to duplicate it I'm going to double click on that one. I'm just going to label this one flat color. So what we have is our on the top. That is where all of our lines are nice and clean. So we don't have to worry about that. Flat color, it is still, I still want to maintain those edges. Just because when we do live paint bucket, it's going to want that. But it's not going to mess up any of our, our lines. So let's just color. Let's just do this, this little basic one. I probably will already tell you I'm going to add on another blue at some point but let's just give you some versions so underneath the paintbrush if I click and hold there's this nice little blob brush now let's explain the difference if I'm on paintbrush it's going to be all in a nice wonderful stroke so if I zoom in notice that there's that nice little red line going through it that is a stroke now what I see and here is the mistake I see is people start trying to color with the paintbrush. So just get rid of those and all we are going to do is click and hold and I want to color with the blob brush and now if I click it just so you can see it is now a shape. So notice that the outside is what is selected so I don't have all these crazy strokes going on everywhere. Control zero. So if I like the idea of coloring a coloring book <laughs> that is all this is. So I'm going to come in shift B is the blob brush and again with the brackets, same thing with the eraser. I can just come in. No, I am on my tablet, by the way. So it's a little bit easier to control. 
with the tablet. So I'm just filling it in and it's just like a paintbrush. Fill, 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 fill. Okay, so that is version one. You're gonna notice that it does try and combine those together. So just be aware of that. So that's version one. Blob brush is very user friendly. Notice that also if I go shift B, that it looks like I'm coloring over my lines. Right, so it looks like everything is being colored and then it drops behind. Reasons for that is I have my line version above. Now if I get rid of that, just be aware that I am coloring over that. If, I, if you really wanna get picky, you can always arrange, send it back, and then that could drop behind. So that is a version that you guys can do. I personally like doing live paint bucket. Control zero, reasons for that, you'll find out pretty quick. So if I go live paint, make, especially if I have big giant areas, I'm gonna click on K. I just have to click and then we're done. So I don't have to color this whole giant thing. So especially with big giant areas, and the other thing that you're gonna notice that everything is enclosed. So I don't have any random gaps. So if you have really loose drawings, the live paint bucket won't work. So things that I typically recommend is do the blob brush for your edges and then you can just come in and you can kind of do a combination of both. Okay, let's do our yellow. Let's go yellow. Mm -mm -mm. Let's do our off-white. Now, even if you think things are gonna be white, let's just zoom in, click on K. K is the shortcut. So what we are looking for is just, is everything colored? Now, since I filled in my eyeballs already, those are already filled, but most of the time we start with our line work and then we fill in later. So that was it. So I'm gonna select it. Now, here's the little thing that most people forget. I'm just gonna come back in and bring in our swatches. You're gonna notice that if I zoom in, you've got these fun little transformation tools. So there's a little bit of a step after the live paint bucket. So all you need to do, and this is what people forget to do, and then everything starts yelling them, especially in the next step. So I want to expand. It's just gonna say, hey, do you wanna expand everything? Yep. All right, so, I, so next there's basically ungroup ungroup and I just want to be able to ungroup each one of those things okay looking good so I want to come back into our magic wand I'm gonna double click that I'm gonna drop that down about five all right so if I select the blue what we are looking for is this if there's anything random happening within our color so you might be able to see these little gaps happening come over to our Pathfinder and I just want to unite all of our blue. Same thing, let's go magic wand. I'm just seeing if there's any random strays that are happening. So what you're looking for is just big areas of color. And you'd be able to tell, it, you'd be, have a big giant orange line or whatever your layer is, it would be going across. So you don't want to have multiple little things happening. Okay, so that is our flat color. So for coloring, I don't even want to complicate this to be honest with you, blob brush, Many of you are going to just like the blob brush. If you have a Wacom and you like the idea of just kind of a, a, a fancy coloring book, that is the way to go. If you like the idea of paint bucket and if your artwork really does have a lot more with enclosed shapes and closed areas, then you're really going to like the, the live paint bucket and it's just going to be a super fast way of doing it. So let's just save, save, save. This one's going to be a quick little demo. And now this is just really, really fancy. We're just gonna let the program do the, all the hard work and do all the heavy lifting for us. So I will see you guys on the next one where we're gonna start to add on some shadows. So thanks for hanging out. If you guys like it, definitely give me a little thumbs up. And then as always, thank you for staying positive since my students do read those. 